pound weight class. Your first fighter out of the right corner. And is six foot one inches tall. Fighting out of Revolution. Please welcome Payson Taylor. Fight picture. He looks like a hair model. <laughs> Now, this should be an interesting matchup uh, when it comes to the takedown game. Case has got some wrestling background. And of course, if Kilpatrick's coming out of the highest stand, we already know. We already know what they like to do or what they're capable of doing. Yeah, for at sure. At a high level. Put it we all know. <laughs> That's not the bottleneck them and, and put them in a tight little package. Yeah, you got to have other skills. Right Thank you. So, if the grappling's even, where do we fight? Where, in my opinion, if the grappling is even, it is usually the stronger, the stronger defender that sets the tone of where we fight. In my opinion, because if the wrestling is even, it's whoever has the better defensive wrestling that gets to decide. Do I want to wrestle or do I want to strike? Because and they the step back and start striking, like Chris Weidman versus Jock Fighting out of the blue corner from Hyacinth MMA. Please welcome Tyler But Patrick it looks like he's got a uh, bit of a wide back there as well. Yeah, I, I actually met a lot of people outside that were here to see Tyler. A lot of people. You know Hyasan's always going to bring out some crowd, but it seemed to me like there were a lot of people that I talked to specifically that were here to see him. Including my friend Alex Daniels. I haven't seen him in about eight years or five years. Came out for this. Came out, came out to see Tyler Kirkpatrick. So you might expect Kirkpatrick to bring the physicality against the smaller frame, Kaysen. Yeah. But Kaysen, um, I think I've seen him in some amateur boxing. But I just haven't seen him actually apply it to this format yet. Two of the best gyms in the Carolinas have some 0-1 fighters clashing here at Fight Fourth 14. Somebody's, somebody's got to walk away with the win. Ooh. He's very fluid on his feet. I like the way he moves. Trying to set up that outside trip. Gets oh. a hit. Does hasten, but nice ends reversal. up back on the back here. What's he on right here? Oh, he's on an arm. Little inverted inverted triangle play here. He's aware of it. Patrick. He can, he it's can quite, make it work. It's quite hard to finish this. It's quite hard to finish. I think there's only been two in MMA history, or at least in pro MMA history. One famously on Jorge Masvidal. And he's trying to switch to the leg. That's a good that's a good strategy going knee on chest. The only thing you got to worry about there with neon chest is getting your foot swept into a footlock. Nice job by Kaysen Taylor to flatten the position. Strong side control for Kaysen. He's in a crucifix now. Really heavy on the crucifix. Tyler's got to do some work to get out of there. Kaysen Taylor heavy on top in the cruise. And in, 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 in amateur, it's just a little bit harder to make this position finish worthy. Don't have the elbow there, the short elbow. I think Casey just uses his intelligence, stay on top. 
getting bearings. But he's got to watch everything. Wow. Kirkpatrick really threw that one up fast. But it just seems like defensively, especially in the grappling, um, Kaysen just one step ahead. He was wise to that arm bar before he got around, wise to that reverse triangle, and now wise to he tries to try yeah. to try to cheat tried to cheat a step there on the arm triangle. Wow. Oh, trying to go for an Oma Pilata. I don't think Kaysen is, uh, he's not in danger. He's okay. He's rolling intelligently. And he's doing what you just said about the defense. He's everything nice and relaxed. He's aware of everything. It seems like, okay, it seems like both the, like you kind of prophetically predicted that the grappling may be equal here. And I think the standing grappling might have been, but. Oh! Yeah, yeah. Kelly, that Kelly was down. That's not really. It's got to be Kaysen Taylor. He's got to get the finish right here. Oh, there's no way. Like I said, I've seen Kirkpatrick before. He, he oh, Kirkpatrick. I oh. He broke it. He broke it. I knew, I knew it was coming. I had to look away. That was extremely. Nasty. Extremely ill-advised. <laughs> extremely ill-advised. He broke it. I don't know a lot of armbar defenses as a grappling coach that involve just laying on your stomach and not tapping. I don't know if Sir Patrick heard the clapper oh, yeah, and was yeah, trying to survive yeah, to that's end, not really, but it's got to be Casey Taylor. Coming. I He's got to get the, the finish right here. Arm. And I, oh, I had no to way. physically look away before it happened, and I'm so glad I timed it right. Oh, I've seen a guy get his knee ripped apart and now a compound he fracture he in a kid's arm. Because I've actually done that to someone in a fight before. Um, it's, it's, it's imp they make you do it. There's no reason for him oh, not to tap. It's got to be Kaysen Taylor. He's got to get the finish right here. Oh, there's no way. Like I said, I've seen Kirkpatrick before. He, 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 oh, I don't have the, Jason, my monitor's gone. We got nothing on our monitor, Jason. Uh, my monitor is dead, so if they're showing the replay, I think they're showing the replay right now. But, yeah. Um, yeah. Wow. What a what an ending there for Kirkpatrick. A lot of people out here to see him. A lot of people are devastated, worried about him back here, rightfully so. But, you know, it, it is what it is. And um, especially at the amateur level, my advice would be to tap early. It's okay. I think I don't think we're going to have another battery for this. Yeah. I wouldn't love to see the replay on that when I have a few drinks in me. I can bear to bear to watch it, <laughs> but I'm good on it for now. Yale winner by referee stoppage due to armbar out of the red corner. Payson Taylor. Payson Taylor, one and one. And that's the first time I've ever seen you flinch. Some people have spiders and rats. You have arm bars, broken arms. For me, it's heel hooks and arm bars. <laughs> heel hooks are worse, but they're usually so fast that I don't have time to look away. 